I've had one week to memorize 887 digits of pi, one for every single subscriber. If I can't recite them all now, I'm giving away $887 to one lucky viewer and doing whatever the top comment says. 3.14159265358979323846 Memory is weird. I can remember songs, useless facts, and embarrassing memories when I least want to. And yet I always forget where I put my stuff and why I walked into that damn room. I wasn't born a genius, but I'm on a mission to build a better, smarter brain, one painful experiment at a time. So this week, I'm attempting something insane, memorizing one digit of pi for every single subscriber I have. Right now, that's 738, but that number has seven days to grow and make this challenge even harder. Spoiler alert, it did. And to up the stakes even further, I'm putting real money on the line, a dollar for every subscriber. So if you think I'll fail, comment, give me a pie with your best punishment for me. And if I do, you could win $887. The journey you're about to see pushed me to the edge with headaches, rage, and way too much coffee. But I unlocked memory and learning techniques that I'll use for the rest of my life. If I'm gonna hack my memory, I need to know how it works. All the information you consume hits your sensory memory first, where it lasts for only a couple of seconds. If you ignore it, it's discarded immediately. But if you pay attention, it moves to short-term, where it can last for about 20 seconds. To actually lock it into long-term memory, you have to encode it, which means forcing it through multiple brain systems by speaking it out loud, writing it down, and of course seeing it. Then you have to rehearse it by actively trying to recall it without any help. Every time you do that, the memory grows a little stronger. So I wrote down the first 100 digits and then again and again and again two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one I'm a very musical person, which means I can find rhythms in strings of numbers quite quickly, which is great because rhythms can be remembered so much easier thanks to something called acoustic encoding. For example, the line 693993 was locked in my brain straight away due to how rhythmic it is. 5820974944592307816402162802384825342117067 So I'm trying to memorize the next 50 digits but it's overwriting what I learned yesterday so I'm forgetting the previous 100 It's time to learn a new technique Introducing the major system. This is a system that associates numbers to sounds and then you turn it into a story, then remember the story rather than the numbers. The associations have some meaning to make the system easier to recall, like N has two downstrokes and M has three, and this works because supposedly stories and images are easier to remember than numbers. So I got ChatGPT to translate the first 100 digits into a short story and spent the next few hours trying to lock this into my brain and got absolutely nowhere. I mean, how the hell is a tire with a tail crashes into a piano made out of shells easier to remember than a few numbers? This is supposed to be the method to memorizing pi, but I need to memorize almost a hundred more stories like this and then instantly translate them into numbers. This is ridiculous. I've got only five days left and I haven't even passed digit 100. What an absolute disaster. I have an theory. Lolren. This is my sister. She is an artist and a writer. Which one of these do you think would be easier to remember for you? Probably the words. See, to her, she sees a bunch of meaningless numbers and a story because her brain is used to pictures and words. But for me, someone who always excelled in maths but failed English, I see a bunch of words and a string of numbers that form patterns and rhythms. For example, the 90th to 100th digits. I see it starts as almost 4321 with just two numbers switched. Then there's a double one and the last three are almost consecutive, just skipping one number. It's hard to explain, but making these connections just nestles the numbers into my brain. So instead of making stories, I kept staring at numbers for a few hours and locked away another 100 digits. As for the previous 100 I kept forgetting, I found it didn't take much revision to recall them again. But it's still too slow. At 100 digits a day, I'm getting nowhere near my goal, which, by the way, keeps going up. I'm running out of time and I don't know what to do. So make sure you subscribe, because if I fail, I have to give away $887. So subscribe and comment, Give me a pie because at this rate I have no chance. Eight, one, two, eight. Four eight one 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 seven five four nine three oh three eight one nine six. 
The more Digitime memorizes active recall, the harder it gets to store new ones. My brain feels full. And with only four days left, if I want any chance of keeping my money, I need a new strategy, one that actually works. Introducing the Mind Palace. Yes, the thing that I thought only existed in Sherlock. Get out, I need to go to my Mind Palace. What? Turns out, it's a legit technique that professional memory athletes, yes they exist, use to memorize tens of thousands of digits of pi. Now, I'm not a memory athlete. In fact, I've never done anything like this before, but with my time running out, it's my last hope. Ironically, this technique goes back to something I trashed a few days ago. The idea that visual images and stories are easier to remember than numbers. But this time, I'm doing it right. Here's how it works. You choose a place you know extremely well. For me, it's my house. That becomes your mind palace. Then you break pi into six digit chunks. Each chunk gets split into three pairs of two numbers. And using the major system we learned back on day two, each pair becomes a word with two matching consonant sounds. So every six digit chunk becomes a person doing an action with an object. Finally, you drop these scenes into rooms in your mind palace like mental sticky notes. So now, instead of remembering these 30 digits, I just have to remember that when I walk through the front door, Rory is infecting his foot while watching Spongebob kill a judge. Lupin names Rory, then Justin infects a rock. And on the other couch, LeBron James roofies a nomad. Weird? Yes. Effective? Also yes. And unlike the random story method, this actually sticks because the people are familiar and the house is familiar. So if I forget one part, I have all these associations to jog my memory. This might just save me. So the only thing left to do is to see just what three days in one mind palace can do for me. Three, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Three, one, six, five, two, seven. Three, Four, six, zero, three, four, three, six, zero, seven, two, six, O two, four, nine, one, four, one, two, seven, three. Zero, one, one, three, uh, three, zero, five, three, zero, five, four, eight. Just like that, my mind is blank. With only 372 digits recited, I'm not even halfway there. This cannot be the end. And then it hit me. Eight, two, we zero, are so back. Four, Nothing will take six, this six, away from me. Five, two, one, three, eight, four. Five, nine, five, nine, one, nine, five, three, zero, nine, Two one zero five one one eight five two seven uh, nine three eight one zero seven zero two zero 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 five six eight one two uh, seven one four five. Eight two seven seven eight five seven two uh, one four six eight six zero eight six four zero two nine seven seven four seven four nine 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 eight three seven Two nine five zero two four four five four two five two three three four four six eight. Come on, just thirty nine digits left. Don't fail now. Eight one seven one zero one. Zero 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 three one three seven eight three eight seven five two eight eight six five eight seven five three three 
I can't see anything. God, is that you? I can't believe it. I actually did it. I seriously doubted my abilities from day one and thought this was impossible for someone like myself, but I actually managed to remember and recall 887 digits in just one week. Guys, if that wasn't worth a subscribe, I don't know what is. Remember, the more views and subscribers I get, the more money I can give away. And let me know what you want to see next time. Lauren, do you solemnly swear that this was all in one take? Yes, it was very impressive. Thank you.